Hey all, Carpet Bagger here. I'm in New Jersey somewhere. I wanted to check this out. Storybook Land. Unfortunately, it's only open on the weekends. This is like a one of those old Storyland type um, amusement parks, those old school amusement parks. Looks pretty cool. It's peeking over the fence here. Let's see what we got. We got a birth giant massive birthday cake right over there. And then let's see Mother Goose right there. Look, it's slightly ghoulish, but still pretty cool. Maybe we could take a little tiny, tiny peek with the drone. Alright, I am in Atlantic City, New Jersey. It's the first time ever. Look at these towering casinos. I'm a little confused. I understand it's probably off season right now, but is this town completely abandoned? There's like um, big casinos and like the parking decks are just like closed off, like these towering casinos and then it's like all the restaurants are closed and there's trash all over the ground. I. I, again, I've never been here, but uh, is this what it's always like, or maybe maybe I just went the this time of year. I must admit, one of the coolest parts about visiting Atlantic City is seeing the real life Monopoly spots driving around these streets. It's like driving around on the game board. Look at the St. James Place. Any. Monopoly player worth their salt knows that the three orange spaces are key to winning a Monopoly game. And there it is. The best spot in all of Monopoly, New York Avenue. Makes me feel like a little silver top hat. I don't know if you guys should be eating that. That looks oddly orange. Now I am on the wondrous Atlantic City Boardwalk, one time ruled by the notorious Nucky Thompson. It looks like a few things may have changed over the years. First of all, I don't see any human incubators. There are literally just a thousand flat screen TVs on poles just playing commercials really loudly. That is crazy. Like they're doing some construction up there. They got real hair on the tails of those horses. This little miniature merry-go-round up atop. The steel pier, which I guess is a little amusement park on the boardwalk. Looks like it's under construction right now. In fact, I'm not entirely sure I'm supposed to be wandering around up here.
Now check this out, this like sprawling, ornate Taj Mahal casino is just completely abandoned. I really love to go exploring inside the abandoned Taj Mahal casino, but I just called Donald Trump and uh, he said no, he, he's, he's worried that he'd be responsible if I hurt myself. All right, over here we got the Xanadu Theater. And then somewhere it sells blue pretzels over there. It's a video arcade and a big escalator over here. Seriously though, it is really crazy just to see this massive skyscraper right on the beach with all these ornate structures completely abandoned. Boardwalk kitty. You don't want me to pet you? Hey kitty. You like living on the boardwalk? Look like you're healthy. Alright, look at this saltwater taffy shop and it's cut to fit the mouth, so how do you beat that? For some reason Peanut World is a t-shirt shop. Sometimes life's confusing. That guy back there is literally threatening to kill his imaginary friend. There's literally a pet shop on the boardwalk here. How many times do you think someone's gone out to party, had a few too many to drink, and woke up the next morning with an iguana. All right, so that's another day of my road trip. Spent the day having a good time out in New Jersey. Actually the first time I've ever experienced New Jersey. And I don't do this too often, but let me go on a little rant here. New Jersey, the driving around New Jersey is hard for me to deal with. I talked about the, the the thing where the guy has to pump your gas for you, which just freaks me out. But this no left turn thing is madness. I am like literally don't know. I like got off an exit to try to get something to eat, and I literally didn't know how to turn into Taco Bell, so I had to just give up and get back on the on the highway, of course, you know, I had to go over through 12 loop-de-loops to do that. Anyways, what is the deal here? I mean, it works in the rest of the country. We turn left. I mean, maybe there's less accidents. I don't know. Someone out there crunch the numbers for me and let me know. But anyways, I, mean, I was flying my drone uh, and then the, near the boardwalk. And I guess you've seen the footage of that, but anyway, <laughs> um, these two guys come up to me, I guess they're the guys that run the, uh, the parking lot, you know, the small parking lot where you pay five bucks to park. They saw the drone and they kept, they started running over there and they asked me like, how much is your drone? I told them, they're like, well, that's all we need. And they said, we are going to start our own private detective agency. And if we got a drone, that's, that's really all we need. And then one of the guys m remarked that he would also uh, use the drone to look t <laughs> look into his uh, his neighbor's window because uh, I can't even tell the rest of the story because it's too crude. <laughs> All right, I wanted just to throw a few things out there. Um, I uh, I know some people watching these these vlog style uh, videos and have been saying um, you know you didn't do this didn't do that. Um, just keep in mind these are this is the in between. If there's something that I think is really cool, I want to do a whole video on it, and I'm gonna start editing those when I get back home. So there may be some things that you think I skipped when I actually did check them out. Um, they just I decided to to put them in their own video, 
end. I don't want to get too serious or weird here, but um, let's just say some people um, didn't like some of the content that I posted in the last week, and they said it was uh, out of character for my channel and for me. Um, and I just got to tell you guys, I, I, I appreciate every single person that watches, but <laughs> um, I feel in order to keep making these videos and making them genuine and keeping true to myself um, that I really have to stick with my heart and stick with my gut and film um, what I find interesting and what I find fascinating. Um, I suggest if you see something, you know, my, my titles kind of explain what's in the video. Um, if you see something you don't think you enjoy, just skip it. Skip it. It's okay. I, won't, I don't mind. And I mean, and, and, and if you don't like that, I mean, you know, I hate to see anyone, anyone go, but you know, I'm just going to have to, I'm going to have to go with my heart on this one and keep posting, you know, what I find interesting. Um, you know, I, I never wanted to be pigeonholed into doing a certain thing a certain way. Um, I, I, I appreciate feedback, but at the same time, I got to, I got to do or make what's my vision. Um, because that's kind of what's gotten me to the point I am. And, you know, even if, I don't go any further. Um, at least I will stay true to myself uh, in the meantime. So, appreciate you guys watching. I will be in D.C. tomorrow, 7 o'clock, in front, 7 o'clock p.m., in front of the Jefferson Monument. If anyone wants to come meet me, I would love to see you there. If not, I'm going to sit there and talk to the National Park guy until he gets irritated with me and tells me I have to leave. So, either way, we'll have a good time. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow.